Work is well underway at the Starship launch pad in South Texas as crews continue to assess and repair damages from the first Starship launch. More workers have arrived at the site to assist with the ongoing cleaning and repair efforts. New staircases have arrived at the site and will be installed to provide access to the top of the launch mount. Workers could be seen atop the orbital launch mount and have been focused on repairing the booster quick disconnect hood and chopstick arms. Yesterday, booster quick disconnect hood was open for the first time since last week's historic launch. This morning, a few panels were removed from it. Meanwhile, at the tank farm, engineers inspected the LOX tank, which was hit by a projectile and left with a hole after the launch. While repairs will take several months, the major structures at the launch pad remain intact, and the process of preparing for the next launch promises to be a captivating journey to witness. So, not to miss any development, consider subscribing to the channel for the latest SpaceX and Starship-related news. SpaceX has postponed both the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches that were scheduled for today. This morning, the Starlink Group 35 mission was aborted just 16 seconds before liftoff due to rough conditions at the landing site of the first stage booster. Hold, hold, hold. Although delivering the satellites to orbit is the primary goal, SpaceX places great emphasis on recovering the first stage booster. If the weather conditions make it impossible to land the booster, they will postpone the launch. The Falcon Heavy mission, which is set to launch the Viasat 3 Americas along with two rideshare satellites, has also been delayed until tomorrow night. SpaceX has stated that their teams require additional time to complete data reviews. It is worth noting that this Falcon Heavy mission was delayed by more than a week after the vehicle required an engine swap following the mandatory static fire test two weeks ago. Before wrapping up, here's a quick update on iSpace's Hakuto RM-1 mission. Unfortunately, the Japanese space company's lunar lander experienced a hard landing on the lunar regolith, rendering it inoperable. iSpace's Hakuto RM-1 had attempted to become the first private spacecraft to successfully land on the lunar surface, but communication with the lander was lost just a few seconds before the launch control could confirm a successful touchdown. While iSpace continues its efforts to re-establish communication with the lander, team suspects that the hard landing caused the loss of communication with the lander. Uh, we could not complete the landing on the lunar surface. Keep pushing forward, iSpace team. Your efforts and perseverance in exploring the lunar surface are truly inspiring. And also wishing you the best in your upcoming missions in the coming years. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updates in the next video.